This is the tale of a corporation that takes the age of a person and gives it to another person. The person who donates is given a lot of money. So if a rich man who has become old wants to be young again, then this company finds a donor for that person who is also ready to give his age. And then through such a medical process that young man sells a few years of his life. So the film starts with a future where humans have made a lot of progress. At this time, a company came up that does the work of age donation. Now we see the manager of the same company, whose name is Max. He looks for donors who are matching with each other. Because the work of age donation does not happen just like that. Obviously, it is difficult to find him, but even if he is found, it is up to him whether he gives a few years of his life or not. And it is also necessary that their DNA matches. So Max looks for such donors and tries to convince them to sell their age. Today, he came to meet a family who had an 18-year-old son. He was also someone's matching donor. He was explaining to him that if you give 15 years of your life, then our company can give you 700,000 euros, which is a lot of money. With the assistance of which, you can accomplish anything. You can excel in your academic pursuits and provide support to your family. However, there are numerous other possibilities as well. But that boy begins to think, because he will ruin his whole youth like this. But Max was very clever. He used to convince his clients. Then he also convinced the boy. Because that boy knew that in 15 years, I will not be able to earn 700,000 euros. Although the boy's mother felt bad to do this. But they were poor people. Because of helplessness, they have to do this. Now their deal was finalized. After which Max started coming back to his company. We were shown the world here. Where poor people live in huts. While rich people live in luxury houses. There are some people here who are against this company. And often they have a protest. After coming to the company, they had a big meeting here. Because Max and many managers like him, were awarded for their ability. Because they did a very good job. They have brought many people to them. Here we are also shown the head of the company. Whose name is Sophie. And this time donation idea was hers. Who was working still. Here Sophie gives a speech to her people. Her speech was such that everyone benefits in this process. Here many people in the company, knew that this was wrong. But because of being poor and helpless, they used to work quietly. Sophie says here that, we are going to give our special workers a long life. So that they work for our company for a long time. She names many big scientists here. She says that if these people, had lived for 150 years instead of 50 to 60 years. Then think where they would have taken the world. Keeping this in mind. Our company has donated the ages to 15 scientists. After which we were shown the place, where those scientists were kept. Who had received 15 years of their age. They were very happy to get this life of them. Because they had become young again. But then a nurse came here and started hitting them. He had a gun in his hand. He was shooting everyone. Everyone was running away in fear of him. In this way, this company had to suffer a lot. Now there was a group called Adam here, which was against this company and its technology. So often Adam's group used to attack this company. And this nurse was also from the same group. Now when Sophie found out about this incident, she was very angry. Here we were shown two capable people who worked for Sophie. They were her guards. Now here we know more about this company and its selfish head Sophie. Sophie could do anything for this purpose. If a donor was not ready to give his age then these people made such plans that they had to agree. If they had to take someone's life, then they also used to take it. And these people considered the Adam group their enemy. So now because of this attack, these people speed up their work. Now let's talk about Max. He was very happy in his life. He was a successful person. And he used to live in a very expensive house with his wife. They loved each other a lot. His wife used to work in a hospital. When she comes home, she sees that Max is cooking for her. So she gets very happy. Now the house they were living in, they had taken on a loan. That is, they had bought it with a loan. But the loan had not been paid yet. But here Max was sure that I would pay the loan. So he used to stay relaxed. He was very fond of children. And here both husband and wife were having a good time. Now his wife came to her parents' house to meet them. Here Max's wife's dad was also very much against that company. That's why they used to argue about this. But Max could not say anything bad to his company. He wanted people to understand how hard we work. Anyway, when they reached home in the evening, they got shocked to see that there was a fire in our building. And the whole house was on fire. His wife was very shocked. She was very worried. Then Max started encouraging her. He tells her to stay relaxed. Only the goods have been damaged. Because the house loan will be paid by the insurance company due to the fire. But they get a big shock when the insurance company refuses to do so. Because they said that the fire was due to the candle. It is their carelessness, so we will not pay for any damage. Now both husband and wife get worried. Because the loan was too much. Even if Max worked all his life. He could not pay this loan. Because this loan was too, 5 million euros. 
Now they meet their lawyer, who tells them that now you only have one security left, through which you can pay this loan. She tells that while taking the loan, Max's wife had signed on a security. That if we do not pay the loan, then I will donate 40 years of my life to the bank. Knowing this, Max was very worried, because now he was finding out this thing. Now nothing could be done. These two were stuck, because they had to pay the loan, or they had to give 40 years of their life. Then here Max says that I will do this. I will donate 40 years of my life. But there was no other person like him, while his wife had, so both of them got very worried because of this. Suddenly their life had come to such a dangerous turn. Here Max still, gives a lot of courage to his wife. That you do not worry. I will still find some way. But whenever people come out of their lawyer's office, then his wife is arrested, because she could have run away. And the rules of the bank are very strict. Now when Max does not get any help, then he goes to his boss Sophie, and asks her for help. Then she says to him, okay, I will help you. But even after two weeks, Max does not get any help. He was very worried. Now the bank will take 40 years of his wife's life. And then finally that day has come. Max goes to the bank with his lawyer, so that he can talk to his wife for the last time. But he is not allowed to do this. And then through the medical process, 40 years of his wife's life is taken. It is given to an old man. And today yes, their loan is over. Now Max comes home with his wife. Both of them were very worried. His wife is getting old. Max was still trying to find some way, so that his wife becomes young again. They both wanted to have a child, which was not possible. His wife was sad because of the increasing age. Everything was not the same between them, as it used to be before. Now, one day, when Max was sitting in the park, then a girl came to him, who had come to sell a substance in her bag. Now, Max does not buy a substance from her, but he remembers the girl. Now when he cannot see his wife's condition like this, then he decides that I will find the person, the one who got my wife's life, and I will take the age back from him. He leaves his wife at her parents' house, seeing their daughter so old. Her parents blame Max too. On this, he says that you do not worry. I will fix her. He came to the girl, the one who had come to sell a substance in the park. Actually, she was not a girl. In fact, through that process, she had reduced her age so much. Max came here to her so that he could know. How did she do this? Then she tells him to take age, he should obviously have euros. And the person who gives age, and the person who takes two. And you have to go to Russia for this process. For which Max agreed. He first finds out who that one is. The one who got his wife's age. And when he found out that she was a woman. So he quickly goes to her. He makes her unconscious and kidnaps her. Then he goes to his wife and he tells her everything. She supports Max here. Well, who is that person, who does not want to get his youth back? Leaving all behind, they make a plan to leave their country. But when they were going, they found out that this girl, who they have kidnapped, she is the daughter of the head of the company, Sophie. And her daughter didn't get Max's wife's life, in fact, it was donated to Sophie. But this was found out by Max at the last moment, that's why he was still willing to take her with him. Because this girl is Sophie's daughter, so it is possible that their DNA matches. And from this, Max's wife gets 40 years. And when two guards of Sophie found out about the kidnapping of Sophie's daughter, they thought that Adam Group must have done this. But these people think, that Adam Group kills our people, does not kidnap. So this is not their job. With their clever mind, both the guards find out, that this is someone else's job. And because they had access to everything. So very soon they find out, that this is the job of one of their workers, Max. And why would not he do that? The company for which he put his life. The owner of that company had taken his wife's life. Now with Sophie's daughter, they crossed the border through the sea. They had locked her in a box. But when they reached the port, so there was a lot of security. So these people could be caught. But there was a compulsion. So it was necessary to move forward. So for this purpose, they use a family. Whose car had Max, his wife and Sophie's daughter. Whom they had locked in the box. Although the security was suspicious. But Max takes care of everything well. And this is how they cross the border. Now one day when they remove a cloth from Sophie's daughter's mouth. Then she tells him I am not really Sophie but her daughter. On this Max says that no problem. Blood relationship is always one and they match. Then whether we have Sophie or her daughter, we will collaborate and perform our task. And I will make my wife young again. Now, his wife also found this thing wrong. Sophie's daughter also says, that I am also against my mother's dangerous job. But Max does not listen to her and ties her again. Now they were going to spend the night in an empty hotel. But when they came there, Sophie's daughter says that I want to take a bath. Please let me take a bath. But here Max shows sympathy for her. He takes her to the bathroom and stands on the side so that she can't see him. But that girl was very clever. She attacks Max with one thing. She throws him to the side and runs away from there. Max had a head injury. He started following her. The girl ran away from there. But after going to the jungle, she can't run far away. Because there was water there. This girl was scared of the water. 
that's why she can't swim and begins to sink. Then Max's wife comes and quickly takes her out of the water. And these two bring her back to the hotel, and tie her hands and feet. There Sophie had to prepare her team, so that she could get her daughter released. Here Sophie's two loyal guards become the head of this mission, because they'd been working for Sophie for the past 30 years, because their age had also been increased. Here these people knew the location of Max. Where are they? They take Sophie and go to attack them. The next morning, in the hotel room, Adam Group and their leader had come. Because they had also got information about Max. They were actually looking for this opportunity, that they got something, that they could damage Sophie and her company. And now they had a very good chance, because Sophie's daughter was in their custody. To save her, Sophie will do anything. Now the Adam Group and their leader had to capture these three. Then here Max tries to explain to their leader, look, we don't do anything with us. We ourselves are against that company. On which the leader says, yes I know, because Sophie herself wanted to be young, and her donor, her matching in this world was none other than your wife. That's why she trapped you both for her purpose, and deliberately set fire to your house. Behind all this, they had a whole plan, because for their purpose, those company people, can do anything. And look, by making your wife old, they ruined your life. Max was ignorant of this all, but after knowing all this today, he was sad. Their Sophie and her whole team, were coming to attack them, to save their daughter. And this is what the Adam Group leader wanted, because she wanted Sophie at any cost, so that she can punish her for her wrongdoings, and can show the whole world. Now Max had no other way, if he wants to see his wife alive. That's why he has to listen to the leader. Here the whole plan is prepared. Max's job will be that he'll get her into his talks, and get Sophie into the building, and then the Adam Group will catch her. Now when Sophie and her team come out of this place, then Max comes out, and says that I just want to talk to Sophie. When Sophie comes forward, and tells him to leave her daughter. In return, I will give you a lot of money. Then Max says to her, okay, let's go inside. Let's enter and discuss this further. But Sophie's guard was suspicious. They pointed a gun at him and said this is a trap. Seeing her guard's gun, the leader of Adam Leader, also ordered her people to shoot at them. With which the shooting started from both sides. In the meantime, taking advantage, Max leaves with his wife and Sophie's daughter. Now Max's wife felt pity for Sophie's daughter, and she began to change her mind that I should not ruin her life. Her youth should not be ruined, but very soon she realized that she too is selfish like her mother Sophie. She should not feel pity for her, that's why she herself takes her to the doctor, to process her medically, after which we are shown that Max's wife has become young again. While Max has joined Adam Group, because he wanted to ruin that company, Sophie's daughter was getting old now, she was very sad about this. If she wanted to be young again, she had only one donor, her mother Sophie. But she was so selfish that she could not even give her age to her daughter. There with his team, Adam Group, Max was going to attack this company, so that the company could be destroyed completely.